Hello guys, in this video we will be discussing about the properties of Z transform and that convolution property we will be discussing. In this, we can see the definition if X of n is there, Z transform of that is X of Z. One more signal is there, Y of n. Z transform of that signal will be X, Y of Z. Okay, this is X of Z. X of n is there, X of Z. Y of n is there, Z transform will be Y of Z. Then, convolution of these two signals. Convolution of these two signals will be all. This is the convolution sign. Okay. Convolution of these two signals will be Z transform of that you have to find out it is nothing but X of Z into Y of Z. So this thing we have to prove. So starting with the definition we have Z transform of X of N. What is that? Z transform of X of N is nothing but X of Z and which is given by summation N equal to minus infinity to infinity X of N Z power minus N. Like that Z transform of Y of N will be what? Y of Z which is equal to summation N equal to minus infinity to infinity Y of N Z power minus N. But actually what I have to do? I have to find the Z transform of convolution of these two. So that will be X of N convolution Y of N Z transform I have to find out. This is the thing you have to find out. So now we can see over here. Z transform of X of N convolution Y of N we have to find out which will be equal to what summation N equal to minus infinity to infinity in place of X of N I'll put this it is X of N convolution Y of N into Z power minus N so from where we got this one it is nothing but the standard formula you have to remember that is summation oh sorry Z transform of X of N. What is that? It is equal to. So let me just write it. Equal to summation N equal to minus infinity to infinity. X of N into Z power minus N. Correct. So Z transform of X of N is this one. So here you can find see that X, Z transform of this function will be just replacing X of N. We have to just replace X of N with this one. That's it. Just compare this and this. Okay. Now, now the thing is that we have one formula for x of n convolution y of n. So what is that? So let me just write it over here. Equal to summation. I'll just write this one again. Oh, n equal to minus infinity to infinity. Formula for this will be summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into y of n minus k into z power. This thing should come. So I'll put one bracket z power minus n. See here, this I am writing as this. It is basically convolution of this two is given as this formula. So this formula you have to remember. Summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into y of n minus k. Rest all remains as it is. Okay. Summation is there. Z power minus n is there. Now y of n minus k this n and minus k i'll replace it i'll substitute as some variable m so put n minus k equal to m no when you put n minus k is equal to m what will be n n will be m plus k okay so before that you can see x of k is there right so with that summation is there correct for this one i can take this summation inside so rearranging the summation now why am i doing this we'll get to know k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k i'll take outside not outside but k is there so i said as as i said before also k is there this summation should be k now here n equal to minus infinity that i'll take inside so what will happen summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity y of n minus k okay then what is that? Z power minus n is it? So basically Z power minus n. Now what I'll do? Summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k as it is. Just substitute it. So this will become. So uh, put n is equal to minus. So this summation will become m equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m into Z power is there. So Z power minus of m plus k. Okay. So what will happen now? So this will be summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k summation 
m equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m this will be z power minus m into z power minus k now see here m variable m variable m variable this is k variable so i can take this z power minus k to this side so what will happen summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into z power minus k okay into what is remaining thing this one so i can write it as summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity y of m into z power minus m now clearly you can see over here what is happening over here it is nothing but here multiplication is there okay this this into this so this term is nothing but x of z and this term is nothing but y of z how we get to know see here at the starting i wrote z transform of x of n is nothing but x of z which is equal to summation of x of n into z power minus n see here only the difference is here k variable is there k k here what was that n n n so it is nothing but x of z only right z is there so x of z z is there so it is nothing but x of z only variable doesn't matter only the form you have to see standard form you see okay here it is y of z correct so what will be this variable is here y so it will be y of z is there so it is z only okay see here y so it is y capital y of z z so it is z so it will be y of z so what will happen now so i can write it as x of z into y of z correct so we got it as the z transform of x of n convolution y of n will be x of z into y of z that's what we had to prove here the transform of this thing.